Hey, tell them made in the house that PD legend brighten up your day. Drop by for a while. Now that we about to slay, I'll be sure to help you smile, help you through your tough days. Let us break bread together, discuss ways how to be effective, be life changes, capture our blessings one day at a time. Later, let's go and share our fantastic blessings. Hey, now pay it forward, changing people's lives with one act of random kindness. Hey, it's time for a roll call. Who's beside us? Who was with me? I need to hit you. Holla. Holla if you hit me. Holla if you hit me. Holla if you hit me. Holla, holla if you hear me. Holla if you hit me. Holla if you hear me. Holla, holla. Holla if you hear me. Hey, hey, hey. My life changes. How you be? How you doing this evening? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for a beautiful day that you stored upon us. We thank you for the activities of our limbs. Father, we thank you. Truly, God, you are amazing. Father, we thank you for a beautiful day that we have never seen before. Father, I ask that you will make our food nourishing for our bodies, that you will take any impurities on, put nothing but love. Father, I just thank you for the ability to prepare the food. Thank you for the activities of my limbs, Father. Father, everybody didn't get that privilege this morning. A lot of People didn't make it, Father, but I'm glad I'm one of the ones who did. Father, I ask that you would just go into my life changes home and find a home abundantly blessed. And Father, I ask that you would comfort all the ones that's going through their bereavement. Father, I ask that you would just comfort them like only you can. Father, I thank you for um, allowing the numbers for the COVID to go down, Father. Father, I ask that you in all things that we get wisdom as they are... Um, opening the world back up and this is our new norm so father you command us in all things to get wisdom so father i'm asking that we would just continue to use wisdom father and ask that we will bless the leaders of the united states of america in jesus name we pray amen and amen today i have i baked me some chicken oh my god and it looked delicious and i uh <clears throat> Put my uh, mumble sauce that I made. Yes, we're from the DMV, District, Maryland, Virginia. We are mumble sauce. Mumble sauce. Mumble sauce in it. <laughs> uh, I put some mumble, my mumble sauce that I made. I make, yes, I do. I make mumble sauce, green sauce. I'm perfecting my hot sauce as well. And I have some zoodles. I see my buddy Lips eating zoodle. So I decided to make me some zoodles. Um, this uh, guy in my community uh, where I live, he uh, his church gave out fresh vegetables, and he and in the vegetables uh, they had some zoodles, and I didn't really know how to cook them, so I just sautéed them with my uh, string beans and some garlic and some season and some onions, and I taste them, and oh my, they are delicious. So that's what we have today, some zoodles with string beans and onions. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, okay. I can do those. I can do those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know what about you for and my mouth. Y'all about to get acquainted. I don't know what's wrong with me that. I just come on here to give y'all some motivation to encourage y'all to get out there and be effective and efficient, life changing, changing people's lives by one act around the kindness. Truly, that is all that is take. Let's taste this chicken. Mm hmm. I like my chicken cooked all the way down to the bone if I can chew the bone. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I got busy uh, doing something. I got sidetracked, and I was a little concerned that my chicken would get dry. But it's not. Thank God. I know how I hate wasting food. Oh, and I have um, kiwi strawberry by Sparkling Ice. Bing! <laughs> I know they didn't sponsor it, but much as I drink it, they should sponsor my, my video. Sparkling Ice, hot holla at your girl. You can get them everywhere about now dollar store excuse me but i found that big lot had them cheaper than a dollar store dollar stores had them for a dollar big lot had them for 85 cents so and they had an awesome selection mm. the mama stars are hitting mm. Y'all, when I fix my plate, I'll be hungry. When I start eating, my, my stomach have a whole, whole different idea. My nutrition and my doctor when I was going through. We're getting closer to 400. When we get to 400. I'm going to get my son and Vern to teach me how. I'm going to talk to her about me doing my first lie. My buddy. My sister. My shero. Vern Junk Closet. If you get a chance, go visit her. I love her because she's always speaking positive affirmation over you. She want everybody to win. And those are the type of people that I like in my environment. Sisters and brothers don't mind helping you come up. And remember, once you get there, bring somebody else with you. Just like somebody did you. It's nothing like hooking up with people that have the same vision as you. In the words of my sister, we are manifesting our ish. We're manifesting this year. So salute to Burn Junk Closet. I'm going to put her. I don't know how to do the link, but I'm going to put her name in my description. I want y'all to go visit her. And love on her. It's so important that we give our flowers while our family is here. A big shout out to Tam's table. I'm going to put her name in the, um, my description too. I love what she's doing for Cousin AB. Well, she's doing it for the community abroad. I mean, as a whole. And her vision... I remember my mother used to tell me, give, give, give the people their flowers while they're here to receive them. So that's what she's doing. She wants to celebrate people while they're still in the land of the living. And that's a blessing. Because at the end of the day, when they leave here, you want to give them flowers. But they can't see no flowers. They can't smile. They can't. What, what, I never understood that. But there's neither here or there. Because that's not the topic he brought me on here with. I'm just trying to eat a little bit. I'm going to read what he tells me to read. And I'm going to get out of your hair. Ain't too much to that. He 
Get you ready to warm up. Get ready to get back out of my garden. <clears throat> There's a lot of weeds and a lot of work to be done, y'all. Did that hear me? It's amazing how God used everything to give him glory. And he just said, but did I hear just what I said? There's so many weeds out there. So much work to be done. In your life. There's so many weeds that come to try to distract you. Mm-hmm. Come to try to fake like they are you. Not the weeds try to fake like they're the plant or the, uh, 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 what you're growing. But no, they ain't nothing but imitators. Trying to be you. Trying to come in your life to steal your joy. Disturb your peace. But all you got to do, come on, Jesus. All you got to do. You be that tool that you go to that Lowe's and Home Depot to get to get them weeds out. A matter of fact, you can use these right here because I pick weeds with these all the time. Sometimes with my garden gloves, sometimes without. Depends on where I'm flowing from. Sometimes I left my glove somewhere. I still have my hand. My glove be down on the other plant. I'm up here. I, I don't moved on to high height. So when I leave my glove down there and come back up here, Sometimes I just reach down there. And let me tell you something. When God sent that rain <laughs> to wash all that foolishness in your life away, y'all about to grab hold of what I'm saying. Because I promise God to say what I, he tell me to say. And I hope y'all receive it. After he said in the rain to wash all that stuff away in your life, I ask that you would stay there. Don't go back. When he free you, when he clean up the mess, don't run back to where you're comfortable at. Because you don't understand the new. But what you got to remember if you're in Christ, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. So he can put you in a place that you know not of. <laughs> Same way you pray for that blessing. Pray God ask him to help you. God, you sent me here. Give me direction, knowledge of how to excel here. He promised to be your present help in a time of need. Mm, 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 mm. Sweet Jesus. Let me read this a little bit. I have all kinds of books y'all love to read, but I love reading about him. I might take my, but I have to, um, I really need to take my glasses off because these days words are small. So I'm going to have to put them down here, y'all. He gave me, it says, find the right path. Then he, and I, let me see y'all, in Luke 9, I got to take my glasses off for a minute, y'all. Let's talk to y'all. Because these glasses, I need for distance. But when words are close up, Lord have mercy. They get to doing something on my eyes. I'm still beautiful, though. Bing. Find the right path. Then he said to them, Oh, if any want to come with me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That's from Luke 9.23. When we genuinely turn our heart towards the face of God. You hear that word genuinely? Sincerely? Truthfully, 
we feel the sense that he is inviting us to walk with him. And that's precisely the path that we must follow. Listen, y'all. When we behave ourselves as faithful, excuse me, y'all, servants, we honor the Father and the Son. And when we live righteously and according to God's commandments, he blesses us in ways that we cannot fully understand. Do y'all hear that? I got to read that one more time because I don't think y'all fully heard me. He blesses us in ways that we cannot fully understand. Let me give you an example because I, I when I hear them testifying on the YouTube streets and, and when I talk to my friends and then they tell me about their blessing, I'm just going to use uh, a Vern because that's my sister in Christ. I, I believe I can use her. She found out about TikTok and she got blessed on TikTok. But I'm telling you, that's just, that just not it. God do so much more. He blesses us in ways that we cannot fully understand. So as this day unfolds, take every step of your journey, hear me, with God as your traveling companion. You don't need nobody else. All you need is Jesus as your traveling companion. Study his holy word. There's so many translations out there. There's so many ways to get it. Phone, pigeon, uh, hard copy. So many ways, so there's no excuse. Follow his commandments. Support only those activities mm -hmm, that further God's kingdom and your spiritual growth. Be an example of righteous living to your friends, to your neighbors, mm -hmm, and to your children. Then reap the blessing that God had promised to all those who accept his invitation of life abundantly. Abundant and life eternal. Let me tell you that once again. Then reap the blessing that God has promised to all those who accept his invitation of life abundance and life eternal. Walk in daylight of God will become... Uh, let me do it again. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Ain't nobody mad but the devil, y'all. But I can start over, over, and over, and over again, because I'm going to get it right. I'm going to do it right and get it right. I'm a, it says, walk in the daylight of God's will, will, walk in the daylight of God will, because then you will be safe. You will not stumble. That's a quote by Ann Graham Lotz. Start off with a prayer of the day, y'all. All you got to do is say, Lord, sometimes life is difficult, and which it is, especially now. And it, God, I often go through this book, but I wonder why he chose this today. And he's talking about how life can be difficult. We're dealing with all this COVID, all this stuff with hell breaking loose in this world. But even when I cannot see any hope for the future you are always with me mm -hmm. and i can live courageously because i know that your path leads me to a place where i can accomplish your kingdom work where you lead me i will follow is that your Testimony this morning, wherever he leads you, will you follow this morning? I mean, this evening, mm, I'm getting stirred, y'all. Where he lead, will you follow? If so, say amen. So that's, that's, that's to put a nail in it. Say amen, so be it. 
I don't know about y'all. Wherever he leads, wherever he tell me to go, I'm going. I'm going to trust God until I die. I got that no matter what praise. How about you? I'm going to Every day, y'all, God is revealing to me why he has me on this journey that he has me on. I thought it was a weight loss journey, and I give all praises to God. I'm 28 pounds lighter and still pushing. But I thought it was just a weight learn loss journey, y'all. Not so. Because I began to hear God say, as I lose the weight, not only am I losing physical weight, I'm losing that emotional weight. And I'm not upset about it that I'm losing people that was in my circle. Because I'm not upset about it. Because those were the people God had in my life for that season. And God allowed things in your life for two reasons. For a lesson or a blessing. And yes, the people that he took out of my life, they taught me some lessons, trust me. But I learned to forgive. Because forgiveness is not for them, it's for you. Because when you forgive a person, They take your control back. You said, what you talking about, Penny Legend? I'm going to give you this nugget. Don't cash it all in. Don't cash it all in one time. When you have carry unforgiveness in your heart, You got to act out stuff. You got to feel uh, a certain way about a person. They have control. They can come in your life and dictate how your attitude is going to be. They know that they disturb the people. They know that they got you acting all mad and all this other stuff. But I'm going to tell you about the good book. God said, this joy I have. He said, the joy that he give you. The joy that I have, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. So why are you going to give it away with that unforgiveness? Being mad, not liking folks. They don't have that power. I just want you to know you control the temperature of your environment. If you want to be happy, sunshine, all the good, good stuff, don't allow people to have that power over you. They mistreat you. It's up to you to just leave them alone and move on. Don't sweat the small stuff. You got to count the car. 
They walk out of your life and they ain't taking nothing away from your life because they ain't added nothing to your life. What's your loss? You ain't losing nothing because they ain't taking nothing from when they leave. That's the best thing about it. Best thing about it, if they leaving out of your life, when they leave out of your life, guess what comes? Peace. Because you ain't got to deal with the situation no more. When you forgive, guess what happened? You let it go. Truly forgive. Let it go. And live your life to the fullest, making everlasting memories. Because you are so important. Let them keep on judging. Let them keep on talking about you. They don't know you. They think they know you. Because they haven't walked a day in your shoes. They don't know what it is to be petty legend. Only one knows is my heavenly father because he paid the price. He died for my sin. And told me I can live victoriously. How about you? Mm, 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 mm. I done been eating and talking, y'all. And now I'm full as a tick and I ate more. But anyway, life changes. I done did what he told me to do. I said what he told me to say. And I'm full. So y'all know what that means. Until next time. Remember to be effective and efficient. Life changes, changing people's lives by one act of random kind. Truly, that is all that it takes. And don't let nobody come to disturb your peace. You focus on being the best version of you that you can possibly be and trust the Father. And remember, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are calling according to his purpose. And know that I love the Lord this morning. And I know all things are going to work out. And remember, he loves you first. And with that love, that unfailing love, you can win any, any, anything. Hear me. And remember, he loves you first and so do this woman. Penny Legend. And until next time. Bye-bye, family. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.